Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about adding Google AdSense to a Squarespace website. I found recently this isn't the easiest thing to do, but I found somebody who put together a guide that offers step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. So I'm making a video tutorial today to show you just how that works. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at Grayson Arnoff Photography. This is the photographer that put together this guide. I'll put a link in the description so that you can go to this guide to kind of help you through this as well. Um, but I'm gonna try to show you in the video exactly how to do this to try to make this a little simpler so you know exactly where you're clicking, exactly where you're going. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Google AdSense. Once you've got your AdSense account set up and you wanna add the ads to your page, you might see a message at the top. This is something like this in red and there's a fix now button. Otherwise, you can go to your sites on the left hand side and then in the page here, you see it says create an ads.txt for one site. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click download and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this ads.txt file to the desktop. So now we've got that ads.txt file. Now, normally with this ads.txt file, you'd upload this to the root index of your web page. So that root file path of your web page is where you normally put that if you were managing your web page on your own. But now since we're using Squarespace, they don't quite give you the access to do that. So we have to kind of go in a roundabout way to upload this file so that the file can be seen on the web page. So we'll go to Squarespace, we'll log in, we'll choose our website. Then once you're on your website, what you'll need to do is we're gonna just need to upload this file to any page. So in this case, I'll just choose my about page. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to edit the page content you're going to add text and then you can just put something basic here. So we can just do ads.txt. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click the link button and you're going to click files. And then we're going to add a file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to browse for that ads.txt file. We're going to open it and then it's been successfully uploaded. Now you can go ahead and click add link and then click save at the top. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the actual link to this file itself. So you can go ahead and right click and choose copy link address. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste that somewhere safe. So I've created a text file here. Let's go ahead and paste that in. Save that. Next, we're gonna use that link and we're gonna create a redirect so that Google AdSense can find that file. So you're gonna go down to settings. You're gonna go down to advanced. And then you're gonna to go to URL mappings. Now I set this up already, but this is what it's gonna look like. This is what the text will look like. So it's gonna be slash ads.txt, which is the file we uploaded, and it's gonna redirect to the actual file that we have on the website. So once you've inserted this, which to show you is basically this section of the link. So I don't need to put this whole first section. I'm just putting this last piece right here. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and save that. And what you wanna do now is just make sure that that link is actually working. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and take this piece here. Let's go to a new page and let's put in your website and then paste that in. So when you enter this link, it should now try to download that file. And it is, it's trying to download it. So that means we now can browse and hit that file directly. So go ahead and close that tab. That's all done, we can save there. 
And now that that's done, I don't want this ads.txt link to be on my about page anymore. So what we are gonna do is we are, we're gonna leave the file because it's already uploaded on the website, but we're just gonna delete the actual link to it on that page so it doesn't look like this with some random link. So go ahead and you wanna make sure you're going back to your page that you uploaded the link on. Mine's already here, but I'm just showing you the steps on the left here. So now I'm here, I'm gonna click edit. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get rid of this actual text block. So this, this actual text block itself here, we're just gonna remove it. So now I don't need this text, this text box anymore. So now it's just this one that I've already had here. Click save. So you can see now that that's not there anymore. But if we were to still go back and we are gonna go back to aaronandino.com slash s slash ads.txt, we still get the file. So that means it's still been uploaded to the root directory of the website. So now the final step is actually inserting the ads. So now that you've got that working, now we're gonna go back to AdSense and we're gonna get the code that we need to insert into the web page to make the ads work. So once you're on Google AdSense, you're gonna go to Ads and then Add Units if you wanna create specific ads. In my case, I'm creating sidebar ads that are for my blog page. If you wanted to show auto ads and just show them anywhere on your page, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So for me, I'm showing them the sidebar on my website. So I've created this sidebar ad already. So what I can do is I can go here and download the code. So I'm copying the code and then what I'll do is I'll go back to my website. I'll go to my blog. And then I wanna insert the ad on the side here. So I'm gonna click edit on the sidebar. We're gonna scroll down and you see, this is where I've already put it. So I created a code insert. So you go to the more section, insert code. And then what you do is you edit it and then you paste your code in here and hit apply. Then you go ahead and save. You might get a little error that pops up there, but it's still there saved. So let's say you wanna add ads to your whole page and not just one particular section. What you'll wanna do is you're gonna go back to Google AdSense. You're gonna click set up auto ads and it's gonna give you some code that you're gonna paste in. Then you go back to your website. You're gonna go back to the pages section here, back to home, settings, advanced, code injection, and then you'll paste the code that they gave you in the header of your page. Then you'll save that. And then when you're on Google AdSense, you can edit the global settings for your web page and choose what kind of ads you wanna show and click save. And then now it'll use that snippet of code in the header to display these ads anywhere on the page that Google sees that an ad will fit. So to check if the ads are working, you can open up an incognito window in Chrome or private browsing window in Internet Explorer or whatever browser you're using. And then you'll go to the page that you put the ads on, in my case, the blog. And then I can scroll down and I've got an ad there on the page. I hope this video was helpful for you as it was for me. I'd like to thank Grayson Arnoff for putting together this step-by-step -step guide to get this done on Squarespace. If you guys have any comments, any questions, please throw them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please throw a like on there. And if you guys like to see more content from me going forward, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.